Hey guys, today I am going to talk about this very interesting video from a magic store owner. Again, he owns a magic store in San Antonio. Would love to go by his store and say hello. And he has spent a lot of money. Again, he owns the store, but he actually at one point in time didn't have discounts. Which is baffling to me because I think that's primarily why you want to own the store is so you can get cheap cards to open. Um, that is my opinion. I think it's kind of absurd and the girlfriend is uh, the girlfriend is not even allowed to like spend $15 on makeup because the makeup he feels is useless. Um, but he's allowed to say that, um, he's allowed to spend money, as much money on his cards, because that's the way it works, right? He controls all the money. This is a lot of the female's audience members. He may not have a girlfriend the next time I see him in San Antonio. A lot of the female audience members are not happy at all with, uh, the way he is describing said relationship and in all honesty why would they be happy i mean it's it's kind of a, a nightmare-ish scenario where the guy controls all the money and he's spending it on he has like some type of youtube it sounds like he has a youtube channel from the way he speaks about it and how much money it makes it makes like 500 dollars a month but he spent over twenty thousand dollars getting uh to that point it is quite absurd, but at the same time, I think a lot of people, uh, a lot of people feel basically the same way right now with sports cards. They are are magic cards, collectible cards. It is very addicting. You know, one thing you know, shiny cardboard is very addicting, and uh, a lot of people in the comments, they you know, the general public doesn't understand Magic the Gathering all that well. So, like, I don't know what they've been doing for their branding. But the idea that they're branding to the general people and the general audience is just not true because a lot of people still have no idea why this guy is doing this. Um, and he's putting things on credit cards. I mean, it's it's pretty ugly. It's one of the more uglier videos. So Caleb does all these videos with people who cannot control um, their spending. And this is one of them. And uh, not only, again, does he own a magic store, uh, he has, I think, a partner, but he is spending most of the money. The only saving grace is the fact that he works at, his dad owns a consulting agency, and he works at his dad's company. So without his dad bailing him out, and his girlfriend's dad bailing him out. Now, the other part is, they don't mention, these are young guys, 25, his girlfriend's 22, I think it's probably okay. Um, I think it is... You know, when you're young like that, you and it's not that you want to make mistakes, but it's possible that you do make mistakes. Um, and that's my opinion about things. Now, in terms of opening a Magic the Gathering store, absolutely a terrible, awful financial decision. Um, let's just say what it is. It is a decision that will ruin your life. Um, debt, uh, I mean, Magic, I don't, I've still not heard one magic store that is up, not an alpha investment magic store where it's just kind of a front so he can get packs cheaply. Like a real magic store that is, you know, the guy's making over six figures profit, cash, take home money. Now, having owned a magic store in Pokemon, so I can tell you I have a shit ton of product. I probably have $1.1 million in product, sealed product, and then, you know, some amount of singles. Um, that was never the problem. The problem was always like cash flow because any cash that you make from selling the product just goes straight into the next product. And it, that's why it's such a bad business model because you never, um, it, it's very hard to pay yourself a decent salary in my personal opinion. Um, it's not easy to, I mean, again, um, it is a, it's kind of something that only a card shop owner would understand. A lot of people think they're so smart and they would do it this way and that way. You're in a cycle where the only thing that can sell is the newest, hottest set. Is that Lord of the Rings? Is that Doctor Who? Is that Warhammer? Whatever the newest, hottest thing is. 
and you whatever money you have left, you can go ahead and then just put that money in. Um, I think it is crazy in my opinion what is currently happening. Um, but that's where we are today. We are in a society where owning a card game shop is not um, it is not really a viable mechanism. You know, it's almost like running a YouTube channel for magic. It's not really making as much money as it used to make, um, which even back then wasn't that much money. I am going to spend more time on my channel. I, I'm you know, very interested in this Meta Zoo saga, and I feel confident. I, I've been spending a lot of ch time on my other channel, so it's hard to make these videos. Uh, on this channel, I'll be honest, I don't even know where we're going with this, but I will be more focused, more laser focused. I have the holidays, and holidays I get off, thank God, and I can put a little bit more time into these videos. I'm still doing, dealing with a very, very major lawsuit with five doctors and myself, right? So everyone is a doctor minus myself, which is great. And we're in this like free year lawsuit scenario that I'm you know, I mean, we go to trial probably in March, so hopefully that'll be over next year. I'll have some more disposable income to buy some Meta Zoo packs for like one penny a piece. And overall, like, I might open a store again. I might open a store again. It's something that I am very interested in. Uh, and we found somebody to run it. It's my girlfriend's nephew. But it might not be a magic store. It might be like a Yu-Gi-Oh store. Or a wife store, like he plays those two games. He's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. Um, obviously, uh, he's also looking for a game store himself. So why not just have him run the game store? I mean, it's it's better than all my other options were in the past, right? I've had models run game stores. I've had my friends run the game store, and they've all failed because at the end of the day, like it's really hard to put the hours in unless you love it, and I don't love it. I simp I don't know anyone <laughs> except maybe this kid. I mean, maybe like you just run it with a like bunch of like, you know, kids, and and they just kind of just run your store and they get themselves free packs and stuff. I don't know. I mean, we, we, we I guess we're gonna try it. I'm not positive, but we're gonna have a real discussion over Christmas with him to see if he's serious. See, like he's a smart guy. And he's a good trader, and he's a good seller, and he can run different accounts. We're going to have a really serious conversation with the nephew, with our, her nephew, to see if uh, he can take over even this channel, to be quite frank with you. Because, um, you know, my other channel is doing so much better, and we live stream on that channel. We get donations. The, the views are astronomical. It's hard running two channels at the same time. I actually have a third channel, the dog channel, that I don't really post that much on. And that one has 14,000 subscribers as well. Which is more than all MetaZoo combined, minus Alpha Invest. It's really interesting that no MetaZoo content creator is over 10,000, right? From just MetaZoo, from starting from MetaZoo. At least I don't know any. I only know one dude who's still making positive content. And everyone else is just shitting on it. And even the dude making positive content is kind of shitting on it. Anyway... Don't own a game store, guys, unless you have, like, money to set on fire. And then in that case, don't own a game store. 